Paul Bennett at Down East Under Creations here in Millbridge, Maine. We're located along the Bull Coast. And today's video is a, it's an update of the high wind and heavy uh, snow load greenhouse that I built uh, a few years ago. Um, originally, I posted the video oh, a couple of years back. And uh, the original video is just a slideshow presentation a couple of minutes long. And the reason for that is that when I actually built this greenhouse, uh, I wasn't shooting video back then, I wasn't uploading to YouTube. And so these were just pictures I put together so you could see the stages of construction and how the, uh, the actual greenhouse had turned out. And it's been very popular, there's been a lot of views uh, over the past couple of years since I posted it. And then I did an update, uh, well, about a year or so back, a little over a year ago, I did an update to show the, uh, you know, how well the greenhouse had been holding up. Because we get some very heavy snows here in down east Maine uh, during some winters. And we get some very powerful nor'easters with uh, up to hurricane force winds sometimes coming right off the ocean because we're located on the seacoast. And so that was the reason why I came up with this design. And it was influenced by a YouTube uh, contributor, uh, content provider called LDS Prepper. And I modified a design that he had come up with. And so um, this is the latest update. And so just in a couple of seconds, I'm going to show you uh, the aftermath of a down, uh, of a nor'easter we just recently had the beginning of the week and uh, I shot this video just a couple of days ago and uh, that's just leading up to it you can see it's still standing it has the original uh, greenhouse plastic on it and it's now I think it's like the fourth winter it survived and uh, there's no signs of uh, weakening and it hasn't collapsed, there haven't been any problems with it. And then, this is just a, 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 just a short walk towards the greenhouse and just seeing the outside of it. Uh, there's snow all over the place and I didn't bother to shovel to get into it. But then, what I'll do is I'll show you some of the slideshow videos of the original uh, post that I made on this. So you can see some of the step-by-step -step build photos. And you can pause to look at some of the features or the details because I also have some free plans available which were really just a basic, a basic drawing, basic sketch that I used as a guideline. I didn't do fully detailed drawings because they were for myself and I didn't really need it. But if you're savvy enough, look at the details here in the video. Just pause when you need to and look at the drawings and you could build one. Uh, I'd like to note that the main frames uh, in my case, are four feet down below grade uh, because that's the frost line uh, here in Maine, in this part of Maine. And the other thing is that after I do the slideshow, I'll show you a little bit. Uh, I'm also going to run part of the, the last update I did, which gives you a little more of an explanation. And that's that. And if you have any questions, please feel free to comment. And I'd also ask you to please subscribe and like or dislike or whatever, share it. Uh, I appreciate it. And so thank you very much for watching. So here's the latest update, uh, 2019. It's the beginning of March. Uh, today is March 7th as I edit this video. And uh, this particular section of video was taken about two days ago on the 5th which was the day after the nor'easter hit us. And as you can see, the greenhouse, uh, after it's gone through about four winters or so, maybe five, it's uh, still holding up. It's, uh, there's no signs of any sagging. Uh, nothing is broken. The original greenhouse plastic is intact, and it stood up well to very high wind gust. And, uh, oh, much more snow than you see on the roof right now and uh, it's doing very well so we're happy with it i think we're going to build more of them if you have any questions if you want to build your own feel free to add your comments in the uh, comment section uh, below in the video description below the video 
I'll be happy to answer them if I can. It has been several months now since I posted the first video on our uh, high wind, high snow low greenhouse, which was a slideshow video showing the uh, steps of construction and uh, with a little bit of information in the description. Well, it's a few years since we actually built it and uh, it has really stood up well. It was last winter when I posted the slideshow video and it withstood another winter and came through uh, very well. Uh, feet, several feet of snow over the winter and uh, it's sometimes up to hurricane force wind gust during our nor'easters because we live right on the sea coast in uh, northeastern Maine up near the Canadian border and uh, I think part of the secrets is the fact that the width of the greenhouse is no wider than uh, 10 feet. I think if it were wider we might have some uh, structural problems uh, with regard to the high snow and high wind loads. And uh, so I'm just going to take a walk around here. And it's, uh, I'm now into October, almost mid-October as I'm filming this. And, uh, and so of course harvest is long past gone. Uh, we're not doing anything with it. We didn't do a, uh, a late planting because we decided we're going to um, tear up the beds and redo everything. But structurally, everything is sound. Um, everything is intact. The, uh, the ribs that you see up there are spaced, uh, oh, about 12 inches on center. And they're three-quarter inch uh, electrical conduit PVC conduit and uh, it's a pretty simple structure uh, in the description you'll find a link to uh, where you can find drawings for the uh, for the basic framework if you wanted to do something similar also note that the frames are 10 feet apart this is a 20 foot long greenhouse and uh, these main the main frames here these main frames they're only 10 feet apart and the width is no wider than 10 feet so that keeps everything pretty rigid and there's all kinds of bracing um, these are two by sixes uh, these longitudinals the uh, the ridge pole is also uh, two by six and uh, the post the the big the main framework is uh, two by four pressure treated now some people are upset about pressure treated being used in a garden area well you know what if you want to build one of these you don't have to use pressure treated you can use whatever you like walk around the back side we haven't trimmed any of the weeds but you can see the roof up here and uh, the plastic is a uh, commercial greenhouse plastic um, 
my wife had ordered the plastic online through a greenhouse supplies dealer and I don't know the name of it and I'm not sure just how thick it is but I know it's guaranteed for a few years and so far it's been standing up well we haven't had any rips or tears now you look up here and you see those vents well one vent is just has a mechanical fastening a hinge that holds it open and we just leave it open all season long and the other one will open and close according to temperature it has a harbor freight gas filled cylinder that automatically uh, opens the vent as the gas expands due to heat and when it cools down then it contracts and the vent closes and we also use we, they have a door at each end the doors act as vents uh, because there's a screen door in addition to a an outer door covered with plastic that will be closed up during the winter and we just let the uh, the wind flow through it this is a very easy greenhouse to build it's not difficult and uh, we also included uh, hugel cultures which you can google and check out i won't go into that but each row on uh, on the sides here uh, each row of garden is actually a hugel culture and uh, and that actually works out pretty good it's like our vegetables are on steroids without using any chemical fertilizers um, our fertilizer comes from well if you look through that door at the far end you see those chickens down there they provide all the fertilizer for us i got this idea on youtube from a fella who calls himself lds prepper and he has a few videos on this style and i just took his idea which uh, he had got from somebody else he made his changes i just simply made a few changes uh, to suit us here in maine and it's worked out quite well i think we'll get a few more years of use out of this and uh, this was really an experiment we wanted to see how this would work uh, this type of greenhouse combined with the hugel cultures and it's worked out quite well so we may build some more of them. I wouldn't make it any wider, but you can extend it as long as you want, as long as you put another set of uh, frame, main frames, uh, about every 10 feet. You could extend it as long as possible, and you could make several of these. They're not really all that expensive to build. I think that our total expenditure for the entire greenhouse was somewhere in the neighborhood of about $600. And uh, again, in the description, there's a link. Um, I just share the drawings for the basic framework and uh, it won't cost you anything to download them in PDF if you'd like. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd, I'd really appreciate it and also uh, like the video with a thumbs up uh, and, uh, and, and share it. Uh, thank you very much.